That's tricky. That you could take your work to? Yeah. Wow, that's a great question. I've actually never thought about that. Um, I don't know. I would have to think. Does anybody else know of any like spaces that you could like to rent? No, they're just like really large paintings. Yeah. Uh huh. I don't know if that's something that they would do here at Cedars Union, or maybe once they have the amazing new building. Yeah. <laughs> Plug for the amazing new building that's coming. Um, yeah, that's a good question. I have to think about that some more. Yeah. 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 Definitely getting yeah a show yeah. would be a good yeah getting a show would be the ideal as yeah. opposed to trying to like find a space to do a studio visit because yeah. yeah they're too big but I'm also yeah. 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 That's interesting. It might be something to explore with some of the um, like nonprofit spaces that are in town. Mm -hmm. um, maybe that would be something they could could offer, yeah. like between their exhibitions or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah. Oh, my company? Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, thank you for asking. Um, no, I do a lot of different things. So I represent a few artists. So I operate as their agent, um, which is sort of parallel to the gallery model, but I don't have a gallery space. Um, and then I also, some artists work with me for like six months or longer on kind of ongoing projects. Like I have an artist that I'm working with in Mexico City who was looking for opportunities in the US. So we've been looking for artist residencies and things like that. Um, so, you know, we do like regular touch bases each month and I'm putting together things and then helping him um, do the applications or make the connections. And then I also just do like one off, like, you know, just like strategy calls if you're trying to figure out how to, you know, navigate something or work through an issue or like need to set some goals or anything like that. I also um, do that sort of thing. Or I do a lot of writing projects for artists. You know, if you need to revise your CV or bio or you need to write an artist statement because you have a show or something coming up or you're working on a grant application or a residency application, um, I work on those things too. Yeah. I have a question about like, this gallery. Like, this gallery, but it's just visit all the time. Yeah. If you want to show someone else, you go visit their home time. That's not really where the time is to get, get to know them. Sure. Relationship with them. And it's easier, I think, to just like send them stuff after one visit. Yeah, yeah. And you also don't want to be the person who's lingering all the time. <laughs> I'm like hoping to right? like have more conversations and touch points. That gets awkward too for both of you. Um, yeah, you know, I don't think that there's anything wrong with sending a gallery information, just like we were talking about doing with like a curator or an art advisor. I mean, you know, everyone in the art world is looking for more information and finding new artists and looking for things. You never know like when it's going to be the right moment. So I don't think you should not put yourself out there. Just, you know, be super professional and know that they might not necessarily get back to you. Um, but I will say, like, once you put this stuff together, like, once you kind of have your, your spiel written out and once you have, like, the images selected, it becomes much easier to do this over time. You know, you have to kind of put that work in the beginning so that you have your ducks in a row. And then, you know, when opportunities come up, it's easier to put that stuff together to send out also. So it gets a little less laborious. And it'll get easier the more you do it. 
But I really, I don't see anything wrong with reaching out. I mean, I think sometimes, like, it's great to meet gallerists and, like, get to know them, and you should do that and become, like, kind of part of their community, but I also think there's nothing wrong with emailing them and saying, hey, I really love your program, I think you're doing great work, and um, I just wanted to share my work with you. Yeah, does that make sense? Okay. Hey. And I think you're right about developing my relationship and letting them be organic. Yeah. Even just going to a gallery. But one of the architects who brought that house art there met, mm. met somebody who was showing some work there and they introduced me to their gallerist. Mm -hmm. And they were like, so tell me about your work. Mm -hmm. You know, so you just have to be ready. You have to be ready. Phones, like, here's my Instagram. These are the images. Yep. This is my thing. Tap here. If it goes into their phone, they can yep. look at it later. But it's just you have to be ready in those little instances. Yes. And have, be able to talk about, tell me about your work. Um, yes. Um, you can't do that. You have to be able yes. to say, well, it's about this, and here it is. Yes, thank you. you. Thank you for bringing that up. And you I need an know. elevator pitch. Yes, you have to And elevator. you can't drone on, guys. Like, you lose people. Uh, you need to have a few sentences, maybe one to two sentences, that explain what your work is about. And if you're not sure how to like take it all, because it's so big, right? And how to take it all and make it concise, look at what other people are writing about their work. You know, any gallery has a roster online with bios for every one of their artists. And you can see that might be a little bit longer than what you need to pitch to somebody quickly in person, but it gives you kind of a reference point for how you can take all of these big ideas and everything about your practice and really get to the core of it so that you can tell people what you're about. Yeah, thanks. Okay, I think we've run out of time, so we're gonna wrap it up, but I'll hang around for a few more minutes if you guys have individual questions that you wanna ask. Thank you so much, this was so fun. I'm clapping for you, this is awesome. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Thank you all for your insights, and thank you for being so open and honest, I appreciate it.